Hi mathematicians, today we're going to talk about an important concept or idea in math called a ratio. Ratio. This word is R-A-T-I-O, ratio. A ratio is used in many parts of real life and we're going to talk about what they are so that uh, you'll know exactly what a ratio is, but then also know that you've seen a ratio being used or heard a ratio being used even before you've learned about this lesson. So the first thing I want to talk to you about, what is a ratio? First, a ratio is an ordered pair, an ordered pair that means there's a particular order and there are two numbers. So there are two numbers involved in a ratio. That's what makes it a pair, two numbers. Of non-negative numbers which are not both zero. That means one of the numbers could be a zero or the other number could be a zero, but not both. The Ratio. Our ratios are used to show a relationship between two quantities. I'll talk to you about what quantities are in a second, but it shows how the two quantities are related. And lastly, the order of the numbers is important, incredibly important to, the, to a ratio. If you don't put the numbers in the correct order, you're actually not finding the correct ratio. Let's go to the next slide. So when we're talking about a quantity, we're actually talking here about um, four boys. So in a quantity, there are two parts. There's a number in a quantity, and there is also the unit in a quantity. The number in four boys is four, and the, qu and the unit is boys. In three girls, the number is three, and the unit, what were we counting, girls uh, is the unit. So what we are counting is the unit, how many is the number. Ratios only care about the number, but the number in the right order of what they're asking you for, of what the ratio is asking. I said next I would talk to you about what a quantity was. A quantity, you've heard it many times, it is when you get both a number and you get a unit. So in the quantity four boys, the number of the quantity is four, and the unit is boys. Come over here to three girls, pause the video and see if you can figure out what the quantity three girls is in terms of its two. So in this case, we're talking about there being four boys. So we'll underline important information. There are four boys and three girls on the soccer team. So I know there are four boys and three girls. That's a quantity. I have two different quantities there. My question, my task is to find, what am I finding? The ratio. Remember a ratio is just a number, a pair of numbers in a particular order. So we're finding the ratio of the number of boys, so the number of boys, to the number of girls. So ratio is just an ordered pair of non-negative numbers. So now I have to put it in a particular order because it says an ordered pair. So I'm going to write the number of boys to the number of girls. And when I write this, the ratio is going to be the number that goes with boys, and we're going to either write the word two or write the colon. This is the colon. It's two. It's two dots right above uh, one another, and it will be uh, the word that means a symbol that means two as well. All right. So what number goes with boys? Boys to girls. How many boys are there? Four boys. We just deal with the number on a ratio. So the number four goes right there. And the number of girls? Number of girls is three. So we write a three right there. So the ratio of boys to girls is four to three. That's the ratio of boys to girls. Now there's another way to write the same ratio, but instead of using the word two, we use the symbol, that's a colon, but we read it as two as well. So even though you see this symbol right here, these two dots, 
you'll read it as the word two. So again, the ratio of the number of boys to girls. How many boys are there? Four. There are four boys. And how many girls are there? Three. So we'll write a three to three girls. So the ratio, the same ratio, boys to girls, can be written in two different ways. You can write it number the word two and then th and then three or number the symbol for two which is colon and then the number that represents the um, the quantity that you were asked for. All right, let's move to the next one. Find the ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys. Now that word two tells us we're gonna put the either the word two there or the colon. So you can either write it this way, or you can choose to write it this way. All right, the number of girls is our first order number that we have to go with. So girls is three. So I'll write a three. And then the, the word two, and the number of boys. So I'll look for the number of boys, which is four. The number of boys is four. So the ratio of boys, of sorry, girls to boys is three to four. Next, there, there's another way to write the same ratio. Three colon, which we read as the word two, four. So three to four and three to four. There are two ways to write the same ratio. You can either use the word two or write the colon, which we'll read as two. And again, that's the word two, not the number two. Lastly, if we go into this and see that we are now given a ratio, we can then write a ratio relationship. And a ratio relationship is what we'll get into for the next video. So please pay attention to the next video for um, how you can actually go from ratio, how you can go from the ratio to the actual words.